Hi friend, I'm so glad you're here. Today we are working on goblet squats. Goblet squats are an amazing compound exercise that give you a full body burn. It's got a focus on your legs, but there are a lot of other moving parts that have to keep you upright and strong. And so it is a perfect, perfect foundational move to have in your repertoire, okay? So today we're working on goblet squats. This can be done flat foot on the ground, or you can raise your heels on something. I prefer to raise my heels. It doesn't matter how raised you are, but if you raise your heels just a tiny bit, it will allow a deeper range of motion. If you are down flat and you are just getting started, you might get stuck here, right? Which is totally fine. If you'd like to try to go a little bit deeper, then all you have to do is raise your heels and it releases some tension in the back of your legs so that you can go down a little bit further. Okay, if you cannot go down that far, please do not stress out yourself. You will get there in time. Okay, so I'm going to show you flat foot on the ground first in case you don't have anything to step on. So you're going to have your legs uh, hip width apart. You're going to turn them out just slightly, right, which is going to give you a little more space to move. The movement is a straight up and down movement. So you want to make sure that your stomach is held in tight, nice and firm and strong have your body posture upright and then you will be holding in this case a, a kettlebell but you might be holding a dumbbell so your hands would be like this okay so if you're flat on the floor you might just go down this far right you might go down a little bit further if your heels are raised you might also only go down halfway and as you get stronger, you'll find that you can go all the way down to the floor and come up. It's really important that when you're doing this, this exercise that your movements are controlled. You don't want to just be bouncing up and down. That's not the movement. It is a slow controlled down and a slow controlled up. Now let's add the weight. Pick it up. I'm gonna go here toes out just a little bit. <laughs> I forgot the important part. If you lift up your kettlebell, your bell here, then you get some nice arm activation, some shoulder activation, which is really great. A little double duty. Okay. Have it here at your chest and then bend down slowly. Try to keep your chest up high and come back up. Okay. Bend down slowly and come back up. Remember, if you can't go down that far, just go down as far as you can go without bending all the way forward. All right, let me show you what that looks like on the side. Your feet are up, elbows out, chest up, stomach in, and we're gonna go down. Stop here if you need to, go all the way down if you can, come back up. All right, go down and come back up. Nice controlled movements. No swinging around. Have fun with your workout today.